All right, welcome back to our uh, Ready Player Me Unity tutorial series. Right now, we're working with VR half body avatars, and um, so we have the hands moving with the controllers. We're not actually moving the player yet, so we're gonna just do this super easy. I'm gonna add component X arc uh, loco. Oh, we'll do this. We're going to. We're just going to right click and we're going to go to XR. We're going to add locomotion system action based. And I'm not going to do teleportation. I'm not going to do snap turn. I'm going to add continuous move action based and I'm going to add continuous turn provider action based. It should automatically find the locomotion system when we hit play. And then, um, interesting that it's not getting, oh, we still have to add these. So we're going to, I want to move with my left hand. So I'm going to use reference in the left hand. And then I'm just going to search move. There's our left hand locomotion move. And then on continuous turn, I'm going to use reference. Do it on a right hand. So turn and right hand turn. So now if we hit play, all right, so let's see if this works. And um, left joystick forward, super slow left right back right joystick left right joystick right so we're moving pretty good um just really slow so let's enable our move speed to be three and let's see how that fails oh yeah much better turn speed's probably adequate for me so yeah there we go in the video no just kidding we're gonna do some other stuff i cut myself off so not really the end of video obviously um let's go ahead now that i'm not in play let's um, correct our move speed here all right, let's see about actually animating the fingers. All right, so after all the things I've tried, I swore I, I did a few of these things before, but they're not working. So really our option here with these half body avatars is to manually create animations for the hands. So from the animation tab with our right hand selected, because that's where our controller is, we're going to click to create an animation clip and this is in assets animations we're just going to call this fist all right um let's go ahead and hit um actually you know what let's go i want to create a different animation um we'll come back to fist we create a new clip and we're going to call this open hand so this one will be really easy to create because we just hit record <clears throat> And then we can take, um, I'm going to hold down Alt and expand the right hand. And then I'm going to select all of these joints. And I'm going to take position. I'm going to right click and add key. I'm going to take rotation, right click and add key. And then we're done. We have our open hand pose all set. All right, so um, that one's done. Now we can go back to our fist and we can start with our index finger and we're going to hit record. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to make the fist pose now in the first frame. So we're going to take our index one, which is, where's our index one? Right there. Um, I'm not sure how much, and I use my own finger to kind of figure out what would happen here. Um, index one, I don't feel like is going to rotate a whole lot. So maybe about that much. And then we'll go to index two. It's going to rotate significantly more. Then index three, almost all the way around. Um, really, index three, we kind of could use another bone, like on the tip. But, I mean, that's going to be kind of like, I don't know, I think that's what's, what it's going to do. So I'm actually going to, but let's go to the middle. Let's see if we can just take the rotation. So I've highlighted all three middle finger bones. 
and I'm hitting right clicked on rotation. I'm gonna click add key. But now let's see if I can just copy those and paste. Yeah, I can. All right, I don't hate these rotations now. Um, now I just need to mess with the actual positions to see if I can get the fingers kind of closer together. One thing I'm noticing when I make a fist in my hand, the middle finger kind of stays where it is and the rest of them move towards it. So that's how I'm going to adjust my position. And I'm going to start at like the, the index and the ring. All right, it's not perfect, but uh, I think that's going to be my fist right there. So let's go back to our animator. Let's look at our blend tree. Let's drop in our... Did we do this? Because I cut out a bunch of this video because it didn't work. Um, basically, I'm going to delete those. Uh, let's pretend that wasn't there. I right-clicked and I created a new blend tree. And then I added these float parameters, activate and select. And in the blend tree, we're going to add a motion field. And first we want, um, let me do open hand. And uh, there we can actually see, what are we looking at here? That is not <laughs> the open hand. Um, and then we also want to set this for uh, 2D simple directional, I think. Um, animation. Pre so we have our open hand. And it can loop, I guess, um, but we don't really need it to. Um, and then what we want this to be is of activate and select. Select is going to be our fist because select is going to be our grip button. And I'm going to make that value be one with the activate value zero. All right. No, this is open hand, so everything should be zero. So let's add another motion field. And this one is going to be fist. And this one is going to be uh, zero on the X because that's activate and one on the Y. And we're going to go ahead and create a script to control this. And so we're going to create C sharp script and we're going to call this hand animation, animation manager. All right, I'm going to take this hand animation manager and I'm going to drop it on my right hand. And there it is. So we're just going to double click on this. I'm not using any of the system collections as far as I know. We're going to delete those. And I'm going to go ahead and delete those two methods because I just like to start from a clean slate. And we're going to need the animator. So I'm going to create a private animator. Animator. I'll call it animator. And then uh, we're going to need um, our inputs on our controller. So we're going to serialize these so that we can set them. And we're going to call this private input action reference and i'm going to call one the activate input action reference now let's go ahead and alt enter on that click alt enter using an input system yep and then private input action reference Call this select input action reference. Feel free to use shorter names. And then on awake, private void awake. And this first starts is we are going to set our animator equals get component. And because this script is already on this game object, we don't need to say this transform or anything. It's just going to get it from this game object. We're going to get the component animator. And we are going to create, you know what? We can save a line here and also do select input action reference. All right, because those are both the same thing. So we can serialize them both just like that. Uh, but then we also need their action. So we're gonna go private action or private input action. We'll call this the activate action. And then private input action, we're going to call this the select action. And so on awake, the activate action equals activate input action reference dot action. 
and the select action equals select input action reference dot action. All right, and so now that we have all the variables that we need, we can now in update, which will happen every frame, we can go to the animator and we can set the float. And the float we want to set is, uh, did we just call it activate? Yep. So activate. And then the value we want is our activate action dot read value and the value type is a float boom and then we're also going to animator dot set float this is going to be the select float and we're going to use the select action and read its value that's also a float save see this works at runtime oh before that we just set in our input action references all right, so we need, um, this is gonna be on our right hand. So let's look for activate. We need to make sure that we choose activate value so we can actually get the floats and not just the button presses. And then select, we also want the value. Make sure we're getting them from the right hand. And I chose left hand on that one. So uh, I'll just type back right hand. Okay, so if we go and play, all right, so let's make our screens a little bigger here. Um, let's go into our right hand, double click. Where's our right hand? The right hand. And let's also make sure that we can see what I'm seeing over here. So, all right, so if we look and I use the grip button on the controller, boom. You see it doesn't snap, it's still, it's still blending because we're using a blend tree. It's blending between our open hand and I'm just slowly pressing down the grip we made a fist and really that's not too bad um i am totally okay with that fist all right and so now let's see if we can just mimic it and put it on the left hand as well um hopefully we can just copy paste it so let's see what happens if we just go to our left hand and we um add a component the animator Let's see what happens if we add the uh, right hand controller. I can't imagine this will work, but let's just see what happens. All right, it doesn't work, and it's probably because the bones aren't named the same. And I think that's what the animator does. It looks for the bones with the same name. So what can we do to where we don't have to completely redo everything for the left hand? And is that even possible? You know, I think we are going to have to recreate the animations for the left hand because um, the bones are different. Um, so that stinks. But let's let's see how hard that actually is. So if we go into our animations, we have our right hand hand controller. What if we create an animator override? Controller? We call this the left hand controller. All right, and we're going to override the right hand controller. And so we just need a fist animation and an open hand animation. So we're gonna call this fist right and open hand right. Um, I'm gonna uncheck loop time because I don't think it matters. So creating our um, left open hand should be pretty easy. So we'll just come in here to our left hand, um, to our animation, and we're going to switch our controller to our left hand controller, All right? And I'm not sure why we're on here, but on the left hand, right hand's good. So on the left hand, see this is why they didn't run because all these, it couldn't find the uh, the bones. So we are going to create a new clip. And we're going to call this uh, open hand, but we're going to call it open hand L for left. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and hit record. And we're going to um, alt click to expand everything on left hand. Get all the bones, shift click to get them all. And I'm going to take position, add key rotation add key and then we're done um open hand is done 
All right, so now let's create a new clip and we're gonna call this fist underscore left. All right, I lost some footage, but what ended up happening is I needed to create on the left hand. I had to go ahead and manually create the animation for that. So if we look at our left hand animator, we have our left hand controller. And remember our left hand controller is a contr an animator override. And so we had to drop in our new fist left hand animation and our open hand for left hand into the animation slots. But then we discovered another error. And um, on our blend tree, we were using um, 2D freeform, I think. And what was happening is if I pulled the, the, the trigger, even though the trigger wasn't supposed to be activating the fist, it still was about halfway. So to fix that for now, I've set up the blend tree to be 1D and open hand is at zero and fist is at one. And now let's take a look at how it looks in the editor. All right, so here we are, we're playing. And what's, what are you guys seeing there? Um, bring the game window down here. All right. So right hand grip all the way down, left hand grip all the way down. There's our two fists. I can't tell which one I like the best. I think I like the left fist better, but uh, you all tell me in comments, which fist do you like better? Um, I think the left hand is closer to real. I don't really like that pinky, but um, it's more closed for sure. All right, and so the next thing we're going to do is add one more animation, just so you can kind of see um, how we can blend between them all. All right, I made myself a nice little okay animation for both hands. And then in the animator, I changed up the blend tree again. Um, once we have three elements, it's a lot happier. So we're doing 2D freeform directional, activates as on the X, select as the Y. Then open hand, we just put zero, zero. Okay, I'm doing one zero because it's one on the activate, zero on select. Fist zero on the activate, one on the select. And then if we go to our left hand controller, we just drop in the left hand animations there. And so now if we hit play, we should see them working. All right, so we look at the controls. There's my grip, there's my trigger. We're doing both at the same time, just kind of a blend in between. And left hand works too. Okay. All right, until next time, we have now animated our hands. We've done movement. Good stuff. I guess next time, next next thing left to do is to finally in, in, integrate Fusion and do some multiplayer.